Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and we're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Eldural, a B&M inverted coaster created by Tetsu303. So stay tuned, and let's check it out. Alright, Tetsu303 is one of our Discord advanced builders, and he says, The quest for the Elven Stone. Can you get to the Elven Gem and break the curse of Eldural? Board on adventure in a faraway fantasy land. Be part of the expedition. And Eldural is a B&M inspired inverted coaster set in a fantasy theme. There you have it. Alright, quick look at the Steam Workshop, everybody. Eldural B&M inverted coaster by Tetsu303. Come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it. Links will be down in the description as always. Always. Let's get it some more ratings and to the front page of Steam, everyone. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. Uh, first of all, want to check how many pieces it is. 3,959, so another 4K blueprint. I've actually gotten quite a few recordings done today of 4K blueprints. So you guys are going to see lots this week if you haven't already. Never sure how which order I'm going to release them in. So fantasy theme is what he was aiming for. And uh, it looks absolutely stunning. These buildings are great. I love your gardening work. Uh, the pathing, as you guys saw from the setup, it's it's really it's nice. I like how it's intertwining and interacting with the building, interacting with the terrain. It goes underneath this trellis, and it's overgrown. It's going under this in through this rock cave, comes up. Uh, it's just really outstanding landscaping. Got a couple eyes here. And some waterfalls and different things like that. Cute lamp. Look at that. Love that. And that's the exit here. Really beautiful boarding station. Really like that. This is interesting. The brake station, or the blocking section, has its own building. A lot of effort just for that blocking section there. Beautiful. Oh, and this too. That is cute. I don't know how I feel about these random sparse trees out here. If I ended up putting in my park, I might have to remove a few, but that's all right. I probably would have preferred them over here, if anything. Not a big deal. Small gripe. Little bell tower over here. I really like these buildings you got going on. There's something about it reminds me of, like, Zelda something. Very good fantasy theme. You've got your own touch to the fantasy, and I really like that. I see that you started some fences... And I guess you ran out of pieces and said, okay, screw it. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, interesting. All right. Let's take a look at it at nighttime. Ooh. Purple and red. A soft red. It's a little bit dark, but... It has just these... The lighting that you do have is gorgeous. I would almost say keep pushing that a little bit further. Could have some spotlight shining on these dark bits of the track underneath the ground just to light it up with a nice touch of purple or red. I like this pinkish red you have going. Oh, that's beautiful. Well done. All right, let's uh, take a look at the ride stats and give this thing a go. So 4.3 excitement, a 2.83 fear, and a 1.03 nausea, 100 seconds in duration, and 850 meters in length. Very nice. Oh boy. Oh, my God. 
slams on the brakes. You could probably eat. Oh, it's this block section. That's why. That makes sense. Love those uh, custom fences. Try track view for night. I love the lighting on this boarding station. Um, I thought the uh, theming was really lovely. The lighting on the inside of this boarding station is absolutely gorgeous. I would have liked to see a little bit more from the lighting. I think you got good lighting where it is, especially the entryway. Uh, a little bit more lighting on the track for nighttime would have been nice. And um, other than that, like your, your theming was spot on, really love your take on fantasy these like signs that you put everywhere are really cool uh, i really like this and the color theme uh was really great and the coaster design was pretty awesome as well i kind of felt like maybe it could have done just been a little bit longer and maybe even a little bit faster you probably have pulled the lift just a tad bit higher and dropped it down it because the excitement rider could probably be brought up quite high had it just been going a little bit faster and with that extra speed you would have been able to get maybe another inversion or two in a couple turns or something um, you could have maybe utilized this space with just uh, extended the track a little bit further that's kind of my thoughts on it nonetheless a really beautiful coaster another 4k blueprint there you have it yeah i loved it Good job, Tetsuo303. So once again, everybody, that was El Dural B&M Inverted Coaster by Tetsuo303, and that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button, and if you guys enjoy the channel, you can help support it by becoming a patron or leaving a donation or tip by following the links down in the description below. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.